program. This is the last item on the agenda. However, before that, I call once again upon our voice of conscience, our activist and a member of the South African Artists Against the Israeli Apartheid, Ewok, to render why the wall is waiting. While some remain free to walk away from a wall, to walk to a wall, to walk around, over, or even through a wall, some remain trapped and have to walk with a wall. Eight meters, as high as the hierarchy that holds them down, 500 kilometers, as long as the legacy of lust that slows them down, but where walls once were, remains the will of a people that will throw them down. From the streets of Soweto to the bricks of Berlin, Jericho knows all walls will fall. So, while some remain free to wail against the wall, some remain trapped and have to wail from within a wall. If these walls could speak, which one would be wailing? From underneath a rocky outcrop, from high up on a hilltop, tempered by two temples, anchored by al aqsa comes the sound of wailing. From this fragment of history comes the sound of wailing. From this monument to fractured theology and philosophy that once spoke of freedom from injustice and equality but now echoes with atrocities comes the sound of wailing. If this wall could speak, it would wail. It would wail against notions of constructive engagement while bearing witness to policies of destructive displacement, while watching another wall being built, being constructed against it, constructing engagement, constructing enslavement, because make no mistake, this is slavery encased in the systems of saving and securing a nation. If this wall could speak, it would wail, it would scream, it would scream at that security barrier, that cement serpent scarring ancient earth separating lands of birth from people of worth whose only existence is resistance first. It would wail. It would wail. It would wail at that security barrier, that comfortable carrier, providing a seat for those who wait, taking the weight of those who wait with another fence to sit on, playing games like which side do I support and which side do I spit on while flames get lit on the innocent lives of the salt of the earth people on which this wall thrives and survives. It would wail. If this wall could speak, it would wail. It would wail while it watched another western sunrise, while it was washed in all those western waves, all those dollar supplies. For every cent spent on more cement, more fences, more walls, another checkpoint, another jail, this wall would wail. This is a wall of wailing. History's walls stand pale against it. Rocks shatter like shale when they rail against it. Piracy and murder on the seas when they tried to sail against it. This is a wall of wailing. Beyond any ancient artifact, where they stuff the crack with prayers and possibilities, while they limit civil liberties, while they shatter any symmetry like brotherhood, sisterhood, or even just humanity. Beyond this old city entity, there will always be the reality. You don't need a wall to wail. All you need is a tragedy. 